Oh boy. Wow. There's that arena I said I was going to show you. Got one of my new Flex Fit LMP hats. Beanies, LMP camo beanies. We today are on our way to go. Well, we got to go upload a video and then we got to do some work, which I guess technically is part of what I do for work. But I mean, work is in like we have to go pick up some materials to start working on the shop. Good morning, boy. How are you? horses out here anyways so we've got to go and get some other stuff done but guys this is your last day to enter to win this truck like literally tonight at midnight this giveaway is over and I understand there's people that are freaking out about the dumbest stuff but in reality it's all just a big media crisis blown way out of proportion. The giveaway doesn't end just because people are acting stupid. We still have to draw a winner and we still give a winner a truck with $5,000. So anyways guys, don't live in fear. Enter to win your dream truck if this is your dream truck. Every $5 gets you five entries to win and today is your last and final reminder before this giveaway is long gone. Now it's time to hop in the old fourth gen here. I gotta pick up those stupid <laughs> hubcaps today. Everybody said, why don't you get no freaking hubcaps on your truck? I know. Trust me guys, I know. You know what, we haven't done a fourth gen cold start in a little while, so let's do that real quick. 35s just do look so freaking good on this truck. I'll just set the camera here since there's nowhere to set it over there. big shop day so today's video is going to pretty much be focused on the shop but quick look at the truck the daily man it looks good i've got a i got the wheel caps here so you guys can stop <laughs> complaining about the stupid wheel caps um we did get the wheel caps right here so we're gonna get to installing those real quick just so that they're done and over with Got the trailer hooked up. We're gonna be taking the trailer to load it up and get materials for the shop project. First thing I gotta do is pull the first gen out of the barn, get my wife's truck out of the barn. That way it's emptied. We have the barn emptied and ready to go for when we get here, because we're gonna have to start moving some stuff. And then not only are we gonna have to start moving some stuff, but we're gonna have to take some measurements and cut and work and all that stuff. We're actually gonna have to push the horses out of here too, out to the pasture over there. So they're out of the way and they're not freaking out in here. Let's get to pulling these trucks out. <laughs> First gen out. Now let's see if this whole thing will start up. Dead again. Like I said, big day for the shop progress. I've got my brother Matthias and his friend Peyton out there working in the shop, getting stuff cleaned up. We've got the truck right here. I actually pulled it back into the into the arena and just circled it around. This is actually pretty nice for this. So we've got a new impact, new saw, um, straight edge, square, um, level screws, a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to need for today. We got a bunch of insulation, and this is what we're going with. Some people are going to think this is a good idea and like, wow, that's a good idea. And some people are going to not like it so much. But we're going to be running this insulation in this 7 16 OSB board. Let me show you inside the barn how we're going to lay that in. So, this is what we're going to do. We're actually going to cut that insulation and we're going to lay it in between the 2 by 4s running up and down all the way to the top, top to bottom. And then we're just going to box it in with the OSB boards, seal it all up, 
and that's that's pretty much it. It's gonna be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this wall right here. I might actually take these boards off so we can lay the insulation in and box it up like planned here because we're gonna lay the OSB board, we're gonna lay it in here within the post, not on the outside, we're gonna lay it within the post. That way we can, it's not gonna give us much more space in the shop, but it's gonna help make it feel a little bit bigger still and give us some more wall space. Like if we wanna hang tools, you know, on the OSB boards or, you know, whatever the case may be, the tools can hang within the post versus if you put the boards up against the post and you got this big air gap just wasted and then once you start hanging stuff and it gets tight in the shop, the more wall space, the better. That's all I'm gonna tell you, especially when you're limited on space like we are right here. But we're gonna make this work. Progress is happening. We're gonna be getting rid of this post today as well. Uh, but stay tuned, we're just gonna start knocking this out little by little. Okay fam, so we got some boards cut. We're gonna get this wall thrown up first. Of course, it's the easiest, it's the most square and everything's even. And this is just one that's ready to go now. I had the boys cut up a bunch of insulation. They got all those pieces cut to so just throw up on this wall real quick as well. So we're gonna get this wall tacked up and this wall tacked up. For the rest here of like, you know, the stuff that we got going on right here, we're gonna try to just get a bunch on time lapse for you. Take a quick break. Lunch is here. We've been at it. How long have we been at it? Four hours? Three and a half? Three to three to four hours. Here's what we got so far. Pretty simple, right? Okay. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Now you're probably wondering what happened to these corner boards that were at an angle going from top to bottom. We're gonna put them back on, so nobody worry. The only reason is we had to take them off because I don't have any way of measuring the angles to be able to fit this in there all weird and cookie cutter. So what I had to do is just pop them off. And then what I'm gonna do is just buy some like three and a half inch screws or four inch probably, and then drive them back in where the boards are. I already have them marked. I know where the boards are behind there, but that way we can get those piece back on there just in case it is a big deal. This one too, we did pop that one off as well. Cause I mean, we gotta do all this. So, I mean, but this, this won't be so hard up there cause it's only one angle versus when you have those boards across then it's like you gotta cut an angle here, 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 here. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's the progress. That's where we're at. The boys are working over here getting this insulated as well. But uh, should be should be able to get quite a bit of progress done today. At least get this finished for sure and then maybe this wall back here that they're working on. But that's the update. Here's the progress. Was it really that, was it that bad? No, it was, it was pretty easy actually, it just took a while. It's, it's simple, but time consuming, you know. It's not bad. We didn't finish all the way up because we're gonna need more than that much ladder, as you can see that's uh, even to get that top row, I have to stand on the top of that ladder, which I don't like, but I can at least hold onto the boards up there, you know, to stabilize while I run a screw in, but there we are. That was the goal for today, was to at least get this whole corner done. And uh, thanks to my brother Matthias and his friend Peyton, we actually got that knocked out pretty, pretty easily. They did all of the insulation, measuring, cutting, piecing, and fitment stuff, and basically left it to me to just be able to actually focus on cutting, measuring, measuring, cutting, and placing boards. A couple of them I didn't realize what I was doing at first in terms of like laying them a certain pattern. Like this wall, all of the green lines, of course, for measurement purposes on the back side, which is how they're supposed to be, same with that wall. Well, this wall here and right here, 
I didn't realize I just kind of cut them through them up and screwed them in, which isn't a big deal. We're going to paint it all anyways, but made a little bit of a pain in the butt. And then this post right here, I know somebody's going to say, oh my gosh, you can see the daylight. Well, here's a problem. This post is cockeyed. If you can see here, it's like twisted up at the top and it kind of like is bowed like this. So we couldn't really, I did my best to try to cut it, the shape of the post to fit because the measurement's different. It's like narrow, wide, narrow, wide. So it's just, it's kind of wavy. So there's not a whole lot that I could do. Um, but that is not, you know, like daylight with nothing behind it. That's actually because there's a sunlight, like a, one of those lights right behind it. But we're actually gonna block all those lights in. And some people are gonna ask why. Well, we just don't need them. We're gonna be doing LED lighting in the shop and painting the walls white. That way we can actually have good quality lighting in here compared to what it is now which is just a little fluorescent light there a little fluorescent light there it's just not ideal long term and from a video standpoint it's not going to be ideal so hopefully guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think of this style of content i know i asked you guys do you want to see shop blogs like this where we're working on the progress of the shop to get it prepared i don't know how many of you guys remember that first video when we first picked up the property picking it up like it's a vehicle picked it we obtained the property and i showed you how cluttered this barn was with stuff it was fairly organized but it was just full of stuff well we got that all out and we're starting the process of the shop build out and hopefully you guys are enjoying it i've been trying to mix it up with like truck stuff and shop stuff this one's dominantly shop not like shop and truck most of the videos are probably going to be like mixed up between some truck stuff and shop stuff just so i don't bore you guys but i thought this was pretty satisfying i think they had a good time you know, cutting stuff and getting it placed in there. And it was a full day. I think we worked from, they got here a little after 10 and they've been with me, you know, picking up materials and stuff. And it's, what is it, 6.30 now, six o'clock, 6.15, 6.20. So it's been a pretty full day. So very satisfying. Freaking birds crapping on my freaking truck. Anyways guys, this is your final day and final reminder to enter to win this truck plus $5,000. And I'm going to give you guys one last little look through of this truck just because it is so cool and I would hate for you to miss out on your opportunity to take this thing home. And this is your last chance. This is the last day. March 18th today is your final opportunity to win this truck. That's why I'm posting this video so early on in the day so you have the chance to get entered to win this thing before it's gone plus $5,000. We have to give this truck away and one of you are gonna be taking it home. $5 could be your winning tickets to win this truck. Let me show you around this thing one last time. These stupid birds, I'm telling you. Freaking pooping on the truck. But anyways, you got the leather interior we did on it, front and rear, it's all new stuff. We did the 2015 style tow mirrors, paint matched, smoked out recon cab lights, blacked out 6.0 grill. We paint matched the 7.3 bumper. We did the aftermarket headlights. We did the fuel Triton wheels, 22 by 12s. And then we also did a paint match rear bumper. We did the paint match rear bumper, smoked out rear tail lights, and the smoked out third brake light. So anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did down in the comment section below. Do you wanna see more videos like that of working on the shop? Or do you wanna see it more broken up like the videos before? Anyways guys, I appreciate you. Don't forget to enter to win that truck. This thing could be yours plus $5,000. Thank you guys so much. Leave a fat thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Well, everybody, diesel giveaway number 13 is here, and it is almost gone. So if you want to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, every $5 gets you five entries to win, and then the giveaway will be over on March 18th. So if you haven't done so yet, get entered to win this truck. Because time is running out, we're going to need a winner, and it might as well be you. So head on over to lmpgear.com and get entered while you can.